Hello, my name is Jim Wilson. I've been in a wheelchair for about 20 years, and for the last 12 years, I've been shooting an AR pistol. Uh, before the SB brace was invented, I used to put foam rubber on the um, buffer tube. I used to put uh, some kind of stopper so I could stand it up in my safe and not have it slide over. It was pretty awkward, and you know, everybody was worried about being illegal and putting, messing around with the buffer tube, anything. Um, when the SB brace came out, it gave me a lot more confidence to be legal. And uh, so what I like about having a pistol is you could put it on your legs and go through a, a doorway without uh, it hitting both sides. Sometimes before I'd put the longer AR between my knees and it would point up toward my head and I just always felt, of course, endangered by doing it that way. Uh, here you can see I'm um, uh, kind of using the angled brace and holding up against the glass wall and uh, using that brace to um, fortify or, you know, behind a barricade or something like that uh, just to be able to peep around a corner. Uh, so uh, that angled brace, I, I really hope, remains legal because uh, that's a real nice thing to have. You can see how the rubber band is going around my arm, where in the tail hook, it flips open and goes under my arm. Uh, also use a, a bipod a good bit, especially when deer hunting. It makes it a lot easier and more stable to get that long shot. And uh, I have that uh, 3X magnifier. So here, uh, when it's flipped open, it's kind of hard to see, but you'll see in another picture where I bend my elbow and I can get pretty close. Uh, here it is, um, the 3X magnifier is flipped to the side, and I'm looking at just the red dot alone. Uh, there's a better angle, so you can see the red dot um, over my shoulder, and the 3X multipliers off to the side. Uh, but having that set up for deer hunting is pretty optimal. Um, you can also see um, the, uh, the way I'm able to hold it with the tail hook. I really like the tail hook. Um, here is the SB brace. Uh, now it's far off and I've got a variable optical, so when I have it on one, I can have my arm all the way out, where when uh, I dial it on in to a four or five or six, I can bend my arm, bring it in close, and um, get close enough to get good eye relief. Uh, so it's not quite touching my shoulder, but uh, it's about as close as I can get with that rubber band stretching. Anyway, here's a picture of it on my lap, and you can see it's only about uh, two or three inches off on each side, uh, so you can go in some pretty narrow places. Um, really like the way that it's, um, you know, be able to a pistol and not a, a carbine or a rifle, and so long, um, it's a lot more safe, and be able to carry it in the bag um, really makes a difference. So I've got some 32-inch bags, and they're just too long. Uh, but this 26 inches uh, only fits a couple of them. Some of them are a little bit too long. So here's the last couple pictures of the tail hook and SB brace. Really enjoy them. If you got any questions, let me know. This is Will and Well Armed. Have a great day and be prepared.